In this video, I'm going to talk about mem set in C. So mem set is a function in C that we can use to set a whole block of memory to a particular value. And we can get it by including string.h. So I'm going to say here, include string.h, and that's where the mem set function is found. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a character array here called buffer. And we're going to set all the values in buffer to a using mem set. Now, if we didn't use mem set, we could set all those values manually with a loop. So we could have a loop going from zero up until, but not including 10. And we could set buffer at each index to A. And then we could print out all the values as well with a similar kind of logic going from zero to 10 in a loop and printing out each character just to see what's inside of it. So we'll say here percent %C and we'll print out each character inside the buffer there. And this isn't gonna be too surprising that we're gonna get you know 10 A's in our buffer there because we're setting them manually you know, with this loop here and everything kind of works as we expect if we understand you know, how this kind of C syntax works. So we get 10 A's here, okay, that's all good. So with mem set, what we can do though is set all of these values in the buffer to be A using a function call instead. So what I could say is this, I could say mem set and I'm gonna say buffer. And the first argument there is the memory address where we're gonna set these values. The next argument is the value itself. So I'm gonna say A. And then the next argument is the number of bytes for which to set this value. So I'm gonna say size of car times 10, because I've got 10 characters where I wanna set this value here. And remember here, buffer, that's a memory address because of the way that arrays work in C, where really buffer, really that's a memory address where these 10 values are stored. And when I use buffer like this without any kind of index like this, we say that it decays to a pointer. So it decays to a pointer. And at this point, we're using the memory address of buffer. So where buffer is stored. And it's basically like a pointer at that point to buffer. So we'll try this here. We'll try compiling this now. We'll just recompile and run it again. And we get the 10 A's again. And we could set it to whatever we want. We could change it to C or something like that. And we'll get the 10 C's. And we run this here and we get the 10 C's. So this means that we can now set a block of memory starting at this memory address, you know, going for this many bytes in memory to whatever value we want. And we could use this in all kinds of ways. So we could say maybe mem set, we'll say, okay, set the first five characters to C and let's set the next five characters to D. So I'm gonna say here D and I'm gonna say size of car five now here I'm gonna say buffer plus five. So buffer plus five there. And what I'm doing here is I'm using pointer arithmetic. So I'm saying at this memory address, shifted five over. So starting at the position five over from this memory address, set all the values to D for you know five characters worth of memory here. And what we're gonna get now is we'll get, you know, five C's and five D's. And so it's kind of cool that I can use mem set to just assign some value to entire chunks of memory using, you know, pointer arithmetic and, you know, the, the size of the memory itself and some value. And it's just a convenient way to do it because, you know, sometimes we want to initialize our array to zero and that's one thing, but what if we want to initialize different portions of our array or blocks of memory to different types of data? Well, we could do that pretty easily with mem set. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.